Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, AKA your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna give you the first 10 things you should do or some tips and tricks with the Motorola Razr Plus. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video is some tips and tricks or the first 10 things you should do when you pick up the Motorola Razr Plus. Again, these are the tips and tricks that I do or the first 10 things I do. If you do anything different, let us, let us know in the comments. I love sharing ideas and different things that people do with their phones in the comments below. But let's get into it. I don't wanna make this video too long. These videos usually are like 10 to 12 minutes, but let's get into it. The first thing I always recommend is going into your settings. You go into your display. In here, you want to make sure you're in dark theme because I don't, I do not, I do not like the light theme in here. I, I, I do not like it. I want the dark theme, but also you can go into colors. I like the saturated colors, but you can do natural. You can do whatever you want. It's your phone, but I like the saturated colors on here. So go into the display. Go into the settings there and change those two things really quick. I know some people need that, but I, I don't understand it. But go in here, change the things that you're looking in, looking for, especially the colors. Also in here is the display refresh rate. It comes, you know, you got either high, which is up to the 165 hertz or the 144 on the external display or standard. If you want to say battery, you can go to standard, but I leave it at high. That way you can definitely get that done too. But so that was number one, it's quick and easy, nothing hard to do there. Just something that you should make sure that you have set up. The second thing is into your settings again. You wanna go into sound and vibration. Here you wanna go into Dolby Atmos. Go through the settings. It will tell you different things down here. If you wanna do smart audio, music, movie, game podcast or custom so you can customize it or you can reset your settings down there but go in here set it up the way you want even when you go in here it tells you more like custom profiles for your headphones you can make smart adjustments to it landscape stereo so it gives you a little bit details about what you can do with dolby atmos so just go in there change it the way you want, make the phone your phone. All right, so that was pretty easy too. The third thing is the main thing on here is the external display. So right down here is my external display. You can change your wallpaper. You can change your lock screen clock on here. You know, you can change that. There's, you can add apps on here. And the way you do most of that is if you, let's bring this back up. You go into your settings again. You go into external display. Let's see, this is bright enough. And here in the external display, there's many options. Like you can change your lock screen face. You can change your color. So if you want blocky, you can do blocky. I like this one. It just looks pretty cool. You can change your wallpaper here. You can add wallpaper. You can do many different ones in here. And I'm gonna show you, let's just try a different one. Let's just keep it simple. Maybe, maybe that one. All right, you can change your panels in here. So when you go to your panels, you have your home, you have your apps, your contacts, so if I want to change one, I can move it around. Say if I don't want the games first, I can put the games last. You can even turn on Spotify or Google Fit. Or if you don't want one of them, you can turn them off. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Then you also can change your font size, your display size. So if you want it a little bit bigger, you can do that. Or if you want it smaller too. You can even change your app settings in here, which apps you want allowed to operate on the external display. 
call settings on here. So there's many different options that you can change on that external display. So for now, look, I changed the, so it's this blob. I don't know what it's doing. I think racing or something. That's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it on there. So there's many options in there. Go in there, change the ones that you want, make the phone, you know, it's your own. All right, so let's keep this moving. The fourth thing you want to personalize your phone, change the layout, because when you get the phone, you have like four up, uh, four across and four up or down. Again, I like five or six up or down. It was hard to find at first, but if you go to your Moto app, you can actually go to personalize here. If you want to change the layout, you hit change layout and you can change it to whatever you want. If I want it back to four by four, three by four, you can have your options down here and change it. But also in here, you can change your icon shapes. You know, if you, if you like more of the round ones, you can do the round shape there. If you want to, if you want to change the colors, you can change the colors on here. So you can do a lot of different things in this personalized thing. So go in there, make it the phone the way you want it. You can even change your sounds in here, which ringtones you want. So all of that is in the personalization under our Motors app. So go in there, make it your own. Again, you can change the font size and everything too. All right, so let's keep this moving. Number five is the gestures on here, which Motorola has a lot. You go back into your settings, gestures. You can do put your display to sleep. If you do that, you just tap on it. So, and then if I tap back it on, if I tap, tap it back, it comes back on. You can wake up your display by just picking it up. The three fingerprint screenshot. You also can do the quick launches as far as if you shake your phone, you turn on the flashlight, just the normal things in here that you can do with the gestures. So go in here, turn what you want on, turn the other things off and just get there. You also have system navigation on here. So go through the gestures, make the phone, you know, your own, make your phone your own. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Drink, take a shot every time I said that. Also, this is a simple one. I like the battery percentage on the top right. How you get that is this is a simple one. You go into your battery settings here. At the bottom, ba bam, right there, battery percentage. You just turn that on and it's easy to go. That was an easy one. That was number six. Number seven like right here, you almost have like an edge panel. So I have some apps here. If I want to quickly get to it, you can actually go and change which ones you want. You can add different apps. You can move them around. And how you do that, you can even open notification or open them in full screen. It's whatever you want. But how, how you get there is you go into your settings, back to gestures, sidebar, you can turn it off if you want to. It will show you how to do full screen, resize the windows. So there's many different things you can do in here. If you go back to the settings again, this changes it. You can go to tools, contacts. You can do a lot with the sidebar. So I have it on right now and I, I try to use it. Is it useful? It's just like the edge panel. Sometimes I remember I have it, sometimes I don't. But if you want to set it up, you can definitely do so. If you want it off, you can leave it off. All right, so number eight is the home page settings. So in here, you go to home settings. And here you can change a few things. If you want all your apps, you can do that, which I don't know why people want that. I guess if they're coming from iPhones, you can have that. Also, you can change your icon size. If you want big, big old icons, you can do that. I just like the normal ones. If you don't want the Google feed, like right now, if I swipe left or right, 
not, nothing comes up. But if I want it back on there, if you want to rotate your screen, you can. So now if I go back, bam, Google feeds there. So go in here too and, you know, change it the way you want it. And these are pretty simple to do. You can even do la app label. So if you want two rows, one row, or don't show at all. So if you don't want the name on the app, you can take that off also. On here, the notification dots, you, if you don't want a dot to let you know you have a notification, you can turn that off too. So again, these are pretty simple, but it's great to have features like this on this phone. All right, so let's keep it moving. Number nine is the device lock. You want to set up your face unlock and your fingerprint scanner. Make sure you have that. Put in your favorite pin code or your favorite pattern. How you do that is go back into your settings. This one took a little bit to find too, but it is under security, privacy. And if you go under device lock, you can set up your face unlock. You can, you know, change your pattern in here. Also on each one, if you want to redo your scan, if you want the lock screen to show up and swipe up, you can show that also, or you can skip it. If you want to change your screen lock pattern, you can do that in here too. But just make sure you do it. The face unlock is quick. Let's see if I can get it to go. Watch this. And it's that quick. And that quick so it, the face unlock is really quick on this device so I do use it a lot I'm not the biggest fan about the fingerprint scanner on the side so I use the face unlock more than I use the fingerprint scanner all right so let's wrap up this video the last one number 10 if you want more RAM you can use some of your storage as a digital RAM boost on this phone I'm glad they put that on there and it's simple to do. If you don't want to use some of your storage, you don't have to have it. But if you do, you go back into your settings, you go into your system, the one that says performance, the RAM boost on here, you can go from eight gigs to 10 gigs. When there is enough device storage, use part of it to extend the RAM. If you don't want it, you can turn it off, but there you go, you can get 10 gigs of RAM just to give you that extra performance. So that was the 10 things you should do, a little bit more than 10 because each one had a couple things in there. But if you like this video, if you learned something, give it a thumbs up. Again, if you do something different, let me know in the comments. I love learning from each other. Also make sure you hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, so that way you know when I'm dropping my latest video on a Motorola Razr Plus. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forwards Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And if you stuck this far to the video, just leave BAM Nation, hashtag BAM Nation, in the comments. So that way I know you got to the end of this video. Until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.